One beautiful evening, an engineering student bring her 15 years old sister to hot Avenue Fiesta at Putrajaya. He planned to expose her sister to the application of engineering in daily life. On their way there, he start with the history of hot air balloon. Do you know who is the man behind hot air balloon? I don't know. Who is it? 2,000 years back in Greece, a famous mathematician named Archimedes has figured out the principle of buoyancy which leads to the invention of hot air balloon in 1783. Wow, brother, look! The giant balloons are flying. I wonder how a balloon with such a big size and heavy weight can float in the sky. It's quite simple, girl. Then tell me. There are two main principles that are related to hot air balloon, which are Archimedes principle and Pascal principle. According to Archimedes, any floating object displays its own way of fluid. All air particles in the atmosphere are drawn by the downward force of gravity, but the pressure in the air creates an upward force working opposite to gravity. The pressure level is highest right at the surface of the Earth because the air at this level is supporting the weight of all the air above it. As you move up through levels of the atmosphere, the air has less air mass above it and so the balancing pressure decreases. This is why pressure drops rise in altitude. How about the Pascal principle? According to Pascal, pressure applied to an enclosed fluid is transmitted uniformly to every part of the fluid, filling up the balloon with the air that is less dense than surrounding air is not a good choice because air pressure will be decreased and so the surrounding air pressure would squeeze the balloon until the air density inside and outside are equal. The only solution is simply increase the speed of air particle by heating it up. As the air particles absorb the heat energy and become more excited, they intend to move faster which means they collide with the surface more often and of course with greater force. I see, but I'm still wondering how does a heavy object get leap and foot in the sky? Hmm. Okay, let me ask you one thing. Which one is lighter? Hot air or cool air? Hot air, I guess. Exactly. Hot air is lighter than cool air as it has less mass per unit of volume. For buoyancy to push something up in the air, the thing has to be lighter than an equal volume of the air around it. In order to create greater lift force, higher number of air particles need to be used. That's why the balloon's envelope are so huge. Now I understand. Mm, can we ride the balloon, please? Okay, let's go. Thank you, brother. The brother finally achieved his mission for today.